In the Acts podcast, Dr. Heiser said that idols were thought of as a house or dwelling place for those particular gods they were fashioned after. In Zechariah eleven seventeen, it says, Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock, the sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. What is the verse trying to say in regard to idle shepherd? With my new understanding of what an idol is, it almost sounds like the idol shepherd will be indwelt by one of the divine council. Yeah, I'm not sure what translation is behind the translation that the, the, the questioner Philip is using, but to say the least, it could be better. Uh, it, maybe it's King James in this case, and it's just not helping at all. The word translated idol here is allel, which in both other Semitic languages and elsewhere in the Hebrew Bible means something like defective or worthless or vain, you know, something like that. Job 13, 4, for instance. As for you, you whitewash with lies. Worthless physicians are you all. The word worthless there is allele. It doesn't mean, Job isn't saying that his physicians were idols, blocks of stone and wood, or that they were fallen supernatural entities. No, it's his doctors. They're not helping him. They're worthless. They're useless. So, we, we shouldn't overread this passage as though the speaker has a shepherd over him who's an idol. Or again, Zechariah is, you know, talking about, you know, the people of God, and that's not, that's, that's Yahweh's turf, okay? That's not, that's not territory given, you know, allotted to another you know, supernatural being. So that context, you know, should, should sort of tell you that we don't really have an idol, like a, a figurine here or, or the entity residing in it in view. Rather, Eliel is best, considered best translated something like worthless or vain or useless, like it is elsewhere. Jeremiah 14, 14 would be another example. The Lord said to me, the prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I did not send them, nor did I command them or speak to them. They are prophesying to you a lying vision, worthless divination, and the deceit of their own minds. So again, it's just this idea of vanity, uselessness, worthlessness, it doesn't have to refer to a figurine or some entity. And I, I would say, consequently, I don't see anything going on in Zechariah 11.17 that has anything to do with the lesser gods uh, or other, other unfallen members of the divine council.